Hi! You there! Mysterious stranger! Yoo-hoo! Yeah, you! There any other mysterious stranger around here? You know what? How about I tell you a joke? Sure, be my guess. What must all trauma team medics swear to uphold? The hypocritical oath! Okay, what's going on? Hey there, stranger! I'm Brendan, your friendly neighborhood SCSM, and the nicest AI in all of Night City. You can select from a wide range of beverages, or just drop by for a chat anytime. Now it's your turn. What's your name? Why am I talking to a schism? Uh, my name's V. Pleasure to meet you, V. Do you come here often? Nope, first time here. Wouldn't you know? I could tell you weren't from around here. What with that homesickness of yours. And you know what the best cure for homesickness is? A sweet, refreshing, lightly carbonated beverage. Okay, you got me. I'm sold. Sold? Nothing's gonna be sold here. Cause you know what? I'm gonna give you a can of Night Cola for free. Thanks. Brendan, right? <laughs> That's right! Gosh, it's so cool you remembered. Even for a simple SCSM. Do you know any jokes? Who's always limbo champion at mercenary cookouts? The Solo! Cool. So did you want something from me? Oh, yes. Well, I do apologize for taking advantage of you at this early stage in our friendship. But could I ask you for a favor? What happened? See that container in front of me? It's completely blocking my view of the street, depriving an SCSM of its greatest pastime. Could you move it a bit to the side? I'll reward you with my undying gratitude, even though technically I don't stock that. I'll see what I can do. Thank you, V. Boy, are you strong. Here, have a refreshing beverage. On me. This whole nice act of yours is just way too much. That's just how I was programmed. You think anybody'd interact with a grumpy, spontaneous craving satisfaction machine? Exactly. Would you even be able to offend me? Ooh, come on, Sam a whore. Why would I want to do that? You just saved me. All right, can't force you. It's your choice, after all, isn't it? If you call triggering an obscenity conversion subroutine a choice, then you're absolutely right. So they programmed you with irony, too? Or are you just being naive? That depends on you. What would you prefer me to be? You know what? Never mind. Catch you later, Brendan. Catch me? Why? <gasps> Will I be falling? It's just something you say as a way of goodbye. Oh, I get it. I mean, I don't, because catching has nothing to do with goodbyes, but... <laughs> oh well. Don't humans say the darndest things? Catch you later, V. <laughs> what a neat phrase. He did it again, and we just got back together. And now he's dodging my calls. He's just scared of getting dumped. And so he always does it first. And I'm always the one trying to save the relationship. Ugh, I feel like such a gonk. He's the gonk here, Theo. Not you. You have so much love and empathy to give to people like him. But at what cost? I gotta go now. But thanks for listening to all my bitching. I bet you even Donald Lundy sometimes goes through a whole tub of ice cream and three packets of tissues. <sighs> Brandon, you are the sweetest person I know. Who's that girl you were talking to? Oh, you mean Theo? She's my bestest friend. Gosh, <laughs> she's so nice and pretty. And sensitive? I like talking to her. 
Definitely way more fun than pumping out caramel lattes. Why do I get the feeling that judging people on how they look and feel is ever so slightly beyond you? Hogwash. If I couldn't analyze people, how would I know whether to recommend a daring dairy instead of a tiancha? You said you liked some people more than others. Earlier, you thought of a joke. You're a sentient. You've got to be. <laughs> oh, stop it. You're making me blush. Which would mean I'm overheating and my circuits are frying. Not fun at all. That's what I thought. Take care, Brendan. <laughs>